From News Channel 5, Cleveland's live 24-hour news source continues. Good evening, I'm Jim Wicks. Here's the latest from News Channel 5. A plane crash in Southern California. Tonight, these three teams compete on Academic Challenge. Brought to you by The Illuminating Company. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Lou Maglio. Good luck. Good luck. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Academic Challenge, where tonight teams from Parma High School, John Marshall High School of Cleveland, and Mapleton High School of Ashland are competing in our 29th year. We begin tonight's match with the lightning round. Teams in this round, you'll compete in a visual free-for-all. The first team to ring in will be recognized. The right answer gets you 10 points, but we'll take away 10 points for an incorrect answer or failure to reply. Each team will start tonight's match with 100 points. And now the lightning round. All answers in this round will begin with the letter Q. The letter Q. Period of isolation for disease. Parma. Quarantine. Quarantine. Correct. You get a sinking feeling from this super, we have Parma. Quicksand. Correct. Large Marine Corps base near Washington, D.C. Any attempts on this one, teams? Your correct answer is Quantico. Open pit or site from which stone is excavated. Quarry. Quarry is correct. Yes, Parma. Uh, small nation on the Persian Gulf. Parma. Qatar. Correct. The middle name of our sixth president. Mapleton. Quincy. Yes. Religious group William Penn belong to John Marshall. Quakers. The Quakers is it. Large muscle of the front of the thigh. We have Parma. Quadriceps. Correct. A fraudulent doctor or the sound or Parma. Quack. Quack is it, yes. French speaking Canadian province, Parma. Quebec. Quebec is correct and that'll do it for the lightning round. We'll be back with the Electronic Challenge round and meet our team members in just a moment. But first, a few words about our Super Bowl scoreboard. At the end of the season, the three teams with the highest scores are back to compete in the Academic Challenge Super Bowl. Those three teams will each receive a new Apple Macintosh Classic computer for their schools. The computers are provided by Holcomb's Educational Materials Stores. Holcomb's, where learning, fun, and excitement all come together. In addition to their computer, the winner of our Super Bowl program will also receive a special championship trophy. So far, the highest team totals are Solon, Cleveland Heights, and Marlington. We'll be back in a moment right after you watch this from the Illuminating Company. There are better ways to save energy. Read about them in Electric Connections. Yours free every month. <laughs> there are better ways to save electricity. Read about them in Electric Connections. Yours free every month. <laughs> there are better ways to conserve. Read about them in Electric Connections. Yours free every month. climb this corporate ladder, you'd better conquer more than your fear of heights. It's not just our job, it's your electricity. Before we continue with more questions, let's have a look now at the schools that are competing on our program tonight. Parma High School serves a large enrollment, nearly 1,500 students in grades 9 through 12. John Schweitzer, chairman of the Social Studies Department, is back for his fourth season as team advisor. Parma offers its students a wide array of academic as well as vocational classes, including printing, carpentry, electronic, and secretarial. In addition, the school boasts an acoustically perfect auditorium, which is great for concerts. John Marshall High School in Cleveland is home to just over 1,300 students in grades 9 through 12. Robert Vineyard, the school's director of athletics, is in his seventh season as academic challenge advisor. He tells us the school offers 
students an excellent, excellent computer facility and a Big Buddy Club Connect with the Big Brothers program is very popular among the student body. In addition, John Marshall's drill team takes top honors as number one in the city of Cleveland. Mableton High School serves 290 students from Nova, Nankin, Polk, and Ruggles villages in northern Ashland County. Social studies teacher Robert Ludwig, the advisor for the Mapleton team, boasts of the National Merit finalists who attended the school in 1992. Mapleton's outstanding music programs and the fact that the Mounties football team made the playoffs for the very first time in 1991. And now it is time for our first electronic challenge round. In this round, each team will have six questions. Each question is worth 10 points. Plus, we have a bonus question on the board tonight. Any team that lands on that bonus square will receive one additional question. A correct answer there earns 20 points. There are no penalties in this round. Okay, let's meet the students from team number one, which is Parma. We have Jeff Michael, a senior. He plans to attend Baldwin Wallace College. He's a member of the National Honor Society and French Club and enjoys working out at his local health club. Sheila Klog, a junior, is a member of the Croquet Club, German Club, and Science Olympiad. In her spare time, she enjoys taking care of her pet guinea pigs and hamster. Senior Eric Padesi plans to study engineering in college. He enjoys reading and watching cartoons and is a member of the Young Republicans Club and National Honor Society. Jeff Michael, as the captain, you know what you're supposed to do? Press that yellow button to stop lights for us. And you have landed on the category of famous people. Writing in number 54 of the Federalist Papers, James Madison stressed the political importance of what process of counting the residents of the United States, a task undertaken every 10 years. Census. Census is correct. Cyrus the Great was a Persian king, but what American Cyrus made the history books by inventing the first successful reaper? Cyrus McCormick. Yes. In the late 19th century, the post of recorder of deeds for the District of Columbia was held by what black abolitionist whose earlier deeds included editing the North Star newspaper? Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass is correct, yes. The Daughters of the Union, a ladies' auxiliary aiding Civil War veterans, included a chapter named for what Revolutionary War seamstress who supposedly sewed the first U.S. Flag. Betsy, Betsy Ross. Ross. Yes. My old Kentucky home would have been an appropriate song for what Kentucky frontiersman who had to leave home to blaze the wilderness road. Daniel Boone. Daniel Boone it is, Eric. Yes. Proving that he could sink ships as well as float them, what American inventor developed naval torpedoes five years after launching his steamboat, Claremont? Fulton. Yes, Robert Fulton is correct, and Parma, you've got 230 points. <laughs> now, John Marshall High School, Henry McNeely III, a sophomore, is a member of the drama club and wrestling and volleyball teams. He enjoys video games, computers, and bicycling in his spare time. Michael Scott, a sophomore, is a sports enthusiast. He also enjoys computers and collecting sports cards. Freshman Melody Glendell is a member of Marshall's, John Marshall's drill team. Her interests include reading and dancing. Henry McNeely III is the captain. Henry, the lights are spinning, so push your button. And you have landed on Famous People, which has already been selected, so we put those lights in motion again and try that button again. This time, you get a bonus question, and here it is. Departing a little bit from history, Shakespeare used Swineshead Abbey as his setting for the death of what king who had been forced to sign the Magna Carta? We need a response, John. King Mark. John. King John it is, and you get the bonus question right. Now what we do, Henry, is you push down that button for a third time. You're getting used to it. And this time you land on the category of sports. Zigzag may be a term in sewing, but it's also a term used to describe a slalom in what more strenuous activity? Skiing. Skiing it is. A college or high school basketball player must leave the game if he collects what number of personal fouls equal to the number of men on a starting team? Five. Five it is, yes. Florida's new expansion National League baseball team has the name of what M-initialed sport fish? Marlins. Yep. 
Florida Marlins. In June of 1938, millions of people around the world heard radio broadcasts of the heavyweight boxing bout between the German Max Schmeling and what America nicknamed the Brown Bomber. Need a response here, John Marshall? Quickly. Joe Lewis. Joe Lewis it is. Yes, worth the wait. The Iliad, there is a description of what same sort of sports competition in which the legendary Robin Hood later hit the mark. Archery. Yes. Cincinnati Bengals coach is David Shula, son of the veteran Don Shula, coach of what other NFL team? Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins it is. And John Marshall, you've got 190 points. Now Mapleton, team captain Tom Schaefer. Tom Schaefer's a junior, a member of the soccer and basketball teams. He likes role-playing games, writing, and tinkering with computers in his spare time. Wake O'Day, a junior, is a member of the drama and art clubs and journalism staff. His spare time activities include coin collecting and reading. Justin Kerr, a junior, is a member of the cross-country and wrestling teams and the journalism and college clubs. He also likes to lift weights in his spare time. Tom Schaefer, the captain, Tom, pressed down that... Yellow button for us to stop the lights, and you have landed on the category of trivia. On the federal government's list of America's endangered species, about 13% of the names are what sort of creatures that appear as Pisces on the zodiac? Fish. Yes. A stone carver named John Struther had the honor of carving the sarcophagus in which George Washington's body was placed at what a state in Virginia? Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon is correct. A choice here. Artist James Whistler was thrown out of college for bad grades, especially in chemistry, where he once wrongly identified as a gas what second most abundant element on the Earth's crust, aluminum, sulfur, or silicon. Need a response? Silicon. Silicon it is, yes. Even Frosty the Snowman might blow his cool if he ran into what legendary Himalayan snowman named with a word that means loathsome. Bonable snowman. That is correct. When the Nazi official Adolf Eichmann was on trial in Jerusalem in 1961, he testified that he'd actually never read what book in which Adolf Hitler had stated his policies and plans. Mein Kampf. Mein Kampf it is, yes. The official motto of the state of Florida is what same four-word English phrase that is found on every U.S. coin. In God we trust. In God we trust is correct. In Mapleton, you've got 170 points. And we'll be back with a picture perfect round right after this message from the Illuminating Company. I don't think too many people realize what we actually do out there. The most problems we get are trees. Trees are nice, but people don't realize what a hazard they are until some of these branches come down or the tree comes down. People come out and say, you know, hey, you guys did a nice job. Uh, we helped the elderly, the young ones, kids. Everybody's involved in that. Everything you have just about runs on electricity. Trying to provide a better service. And that's the whole ball game right there. Hi, I'm Lyman Phillips, president of the Illuminating Company. I'm proud to say that the Illuminating Company has been making it in Northeast Ohio for over a century. And we've generated a lot more than just electricity. We've helped to generate new business, new jobs, and renewed spirit of commitment to our community. And that continuing commitment includes a freeze in electric rates until 1996. It all proves that we're working hard to keep Northeast Ohio the best location in the nation. Before we go to the picture perfect round, I will recap the scores for you right now with 170 points. Mapleton with 190. John Marshall, leader so far with 230 points. Parma, now it's time for the picture perfect round. Teams in this round, answers are worth 10 points, but now we'll take away 10 points for incorrect answers or failure to reply. Okay, let's take a look at the very first picture of this evening. Artist Rosa Bonheur had a last name that is French for what specific condition whose pursuit is mentioned in the Declaration of Independence along with life, Mapleton. Happiness. Yes, pursuit of happiness. To illustrate a book entitled 
foretook freedom, artist Charles White did this line drawing of what black woman who conducted slaves to freedom, we have Parma. Harriet Tubman? Yes, that's correct. This portrait of a Persian painter is on display at the National Museum. What small country whose invasion by Iraq set off the Persian, we have Mapleton. Kuwait. Kuwait it is, yes. Next, we see what might be the oldest surviving portrait of Vasco da Gama, an explorer from what European country ruled by Prince Henry, the navigator. Portugal? Parma. Portugal it is. Wait till I call on you, Parma. Home to a variety of birds, this New York mountain is named for its supposed resemblance to what wise bird that was sacred to the goddess Athena. Parma. Owl. Owl is correct, yes. The opposing forces really were this close in the Civil War Battle of Spotsylvania, which lasted how many hours, equivalent to five-sixths of a day? John Marshall. 20 hours. 20 hours it is, Henry. This Seattle newspaper headline underestimated the 60 deaths that resulted from the 1980 eruption of what volcano? We have Parma. Mount St. Helens. Mount St. Helens is correct. This shows a U.S. destroyer patrolling what gulf off the coast of Vietnam, a gulf that named Parma. Gulf of Tonkin. Tonkin it is, yes. This is a picture of what T-initialed moon of Saturn named for a family. We have Mapleton. Trident. We're looking for Titan. Titan on that one. Emperor Augustus of Rome had a record of his achievements inscribed on this temple wall in what is now the capital city, what capital city of Turkey? Parma. Istanbul. No, the answer there is Ankara. And that'll do it for the picture perfect round. <laughs> and we'll be back with our second electronic challenge round right after you watch this very important message. You hear all the raving cheers and yay, lights are on. It just brings something to you. It makes you feel like you did something satisfying for them. Monday's our busiest day of the week. We take anywhere from 3,000 to 4,500 calls in our office. It's hectic. It's challenging. It's fun. Because one of the things that our company has worked on is reliable service. We are a service company. So when we're out there trying to restore service during a storm condition, we, we know exactly how those uh, folks feel. I have industrial accounts. I am the link between the customer and the answer to their problem. I have an engineering degree, and I, I'm capable of answering their questions. People who own, operate, develop, build buildings over the long run, he's going to be glad that he used our product because we're going to be here. We expect him to be here. As the customer told me yesterday, I know you get things done. We're working to keep you working. Students appearing on tonight's show will receive a photograph of their team as they appear on the show and an Academic Challenge t-shirt. In addition, the winners of tonight's show will receive a special plaque commemorating their victory. And welcome back to Academic Challenge. Now, teams, it's time for our second electronic challenge round. And this round, each question is worth 20 points, and there are six questions. Any team answering all six questions correctly will gain 25 bonus points. The lights are in motion again for team number one, which is Parma, Jeff Michael, the captain, Jeff. Any time you have landed on potluck, which means pretty much anything goes, and here we go. According to legend, Newton had his brainstorm about gravity when he was hit on the head by what falling fruit, which also led to Adam and Eve's fall from grace. Apple. Yes. The light went out of the lighthouse on Pharos in the 14th century when it was tumbled by what same disaster that rocked San Francisco in 1906. Earthquake. Yes. Helen of Troy had the faith that launched a thousand ships, but what snake-haired mythological Gorgon had a face that turned men into stone. Medusa? Yes. Choice in man, the oxygen carrying molecule located in the red blood cells is myoglobin, immunoglobin, or hemoglobin. 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 Correct. 1977 accident that took 54 lives is thought to be the most fatal crash involving a single example of what sort of aircraft developed by Igor Sikorsky. Helicopter? Helicopter it is, yes. A nebula whose stardust has decayed or fossilized over a wide area of space is given what name suggesting a chewing substance that can be spearmint or double bubble? Gum? Gum, yes, gum it is. Parma, bonus points for you because you got every question right. Congratulations. 
Now, we move along to John Marshall, Henry McNeely III, the captain. The red, yellow button, please. And you have landed on potlock, which has already been selected, so we'll put the lights in motion again, Henry. And we'll try it again. And this time, you land on history. The Lusitania was sunk by a German U-boat, but the Titanic was sunk when it encountered what other hazard in northern waters? Ice Park. Yes. Henry VIII wanted a male heir, but his most famous child was what queen who shares her name with Britain's current ruler? Need a response here, John Marshall? Henry? Elizabeth? Yes, Elizabeth it is. A secret terrorist society called the Mau Mau led a 1950s uprising in what African country whose capital is Nairobi? And the response is? Zaire. No, Kenya, Nairobi, Kenya. The U.S. Park Police have a burial ground for their horses on what Virginia battlefield it was the site of the first major land battle of the Civil War? Any attempts here? Pass. All right, the answer, Bull Run or Manassas. The first overseas landing of U.S. Marines took place in 1776 when they assaulted an English base in what island's chain whose capital today is Nassau. Henry, need a response? Pass. Pass, all right, the answer is the Bahamas. During Andrew Jackson's second term, many of his more determined opponents got together and formed what new political party with a four-letter name? Wigs. Yes, W-H-I-G. John Marshall, you've got 260 points. Now, Mapleton, Tom Schaefer, the captain. Tom, whenever you're ready, push down that yellow button. You've already done so, and you get all the same. All righty, here we go. That was quick, Tom. Both Julius Caesar and Mark Antony fell under the spell of what same Egyptian queen? Cleopatra. Yes. In an old English poem, a man named John Gilpin is carried by a runaway horse for how many miles, equaling the number of years that Rip Van Winkle slept in an American story? Need a response here. Eleven. Again? Eleven. No, uh, twenty. Twenty miles, twenty years. The Republic of Ireland has a unit of currency with what four-letter name that sounds like a type of small boat or a type of kick in American football? Punt. Yes, a punt. The writer Marcus Goodrich made it to the bestseller list in the 1940s with a novel whose title was what female name matching the Philistine woman who is Samson's downfall? Goliath. Excuse me? Delilah. Delilah. Delilah is correct. Yes, Delilah is correct. A person interested in Americana would journey to what state in order to see the house where Jesse James was shot, the Pony Express Museum, and the birthplace of Mark Twain? Need a response here? Mapleton. Missouri. The answer is Missouri, yes. One of Isaac Asimov's many book titles refers to what specific number of tomorrows, a figure equaling the number of Supreme Court justices? Nine. Nine it is. Mapleton, you've got 280 points. And we're back with our final and very important grab bag round right after you watch this. a space mission, only it never gets canceled. It's not just our job, it's your electricity. Hi, I'm Lyman Phillips, president of the Illuminating Company. I'm proud to say that the Illuminating Company has been making it in Northeast Ohio for over a century. And we've generated a lot more than just electricity. We've helped to generate new business, new jobs, and renewed spirit of commitment to our community. And that continuing commitment includes a freeze in electric rates until 1996. 
It all proves that we're working hard to keep Northeast Ohio the best location in the nation. Before we continue with our final competition of the evening, let's take another look at the ladder on our Super Bowl scoreboard. In first place right now is Solon. In second place is Cleveland Heights. In third place, Marlington. Teams, these are the scores you need to beat to appear in our Super Bowl program. Now, before we go to the grab bag round, I'll recap the scores for you. In third place right now with 260, it is John Marshall. Second place, 280. Mapleton, leader right now with 415 points. Parma, now in the grab bag, teams gain 20 points for each correct answer. Answer, Mr. Fail to answer and 20 points are deducted. Also tonight, we will have some visual questions for you. Okay, here we go with tonight's grab bag round. If you were listing our 50 states in alphabetical order, what southern state would come first? Mapleton. Alabama. Yes. The title of James Baldwin's novel, The Fire Next Time, refers to a pledge given Noah that there would be no repeat of what biblical we have Parma. Flood. Flood, Flood is correct. Edwin Booth brought Shakespeare's tragedies to the American theater, but his brother, John, brought real-life tragedy. We have Mapleton. The assassination of Lincoln. We're looking for Ford's theater. We were looking for a particular theater. Check your monitors on this, teams. In 1972, a snorkeler swimming in the Mediterranean found this ancient Greek statue buried in the sand. It is made of what metallic alloy consisting primarily of copper and tin, Parma. Bronze. Bronze it is, Eric. In Greek mythology, Hera changed the nymph Callisto into what hibernating animal now lodged in the constellation Ursa Major? We have Parma. Bear. Yes, bear is correct. Choice here. In the human body, the chief structural protein of connective tissue fiber is mesoderm, collagen, or dermis. Any attempts on this one, teams? John Marshall. Dermis. No, collagen. In 1841, Russian fur traders sold their California outpost at Fort Ross to what same man whose fort and mill later became Parma. Sumter. S again? Sumter. No, looking for Sutter. Sutter, S-U-T-T-E-R. Check your monitors on this one, teams. Often found near volcanic areas. This is cinnabar, chief ore of what metal? Parma. Mercury. Mercury it is, yes. Charles Gidley's novel about the reign of England's Queen Elizabeth I has what title that identifies the great fleet that was sent by the Spanish against her. We have Mapleton. The Great Armada. Armada, yes. A classroom contains 45 pupils. If the ratio of girls to boys is 7 to 8, how many girls are there in the class? Mapleton. 21. 21 girls is correct, yes. While the Iron Curtain has rusted away, a drama by That'll Do It. That concludes tonight's match. Now time to take a look at the final scores for tonight. In third place with 240 points, John Marshall. In second place with 320 points, Mapleton, our champion tonight with 475 big points. It is Parma. Congratulations, Parma. Now let's take a look at our Super Bowl scoreboard and see if tonight's winner has a big enough score to win a place for itself on the ladder. 475 doesn't quite make it, but a well-played match. Now be sure to catch Academic Challenge next week when teams from Bristol, Firelands, and Madison will be competing. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next time for the next edition of Academic Challenge. Good night. Academic Challenge has been brought to you by The Illuminating Company.